Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at how I painted my spindle drones for Blackstone Fortress. These uh, little alien robot thingies. And I tried to do a very basic painting uh, technique using dry brushing mainly to get them ready for the table as quickly as possible. So you can see here I've started with a base coat of Abaddon Black. It's just a, a good base coat for the layers of dry brushing that I'm going to apply over the top. And I'm starting with Necron Abyss, but any dark purple um, will do here. And I'm going to dry brush this onto the lower portion of the miniatures. So um, I'm avoiding the carapace at the top completely in the face at the front. I'm just um, dry brushing the legs and um, all of the wiring and the, uh, the torso. And I'm using such a dark purple here that um, doesn't show up hugely on the black, but that's absolutely fine. It's still providing that definition. And with that done, we're going to apply a purple tone wash over the whole thing. And this is going over the carapace as well. So this is obviously going to settle into all the recesses and just rather than having a black recesses, they're going to be slightly purple tinged recesses. And I'm sloshing this over the whole thing, I'm not worrying too much about it, um, as long as it doesn't pull too much. And I'm going to shadow grey, um, which is kind of like a bluey grey, but so, so any sort of bluey grey colour will do. And I'm just dry brushing the legs. Now for this, the legs are kind of like zigzag shapes and I'm just... Um, dry brushing the the most outward part of the, the downward zigzag um, on all three limbs. So the actual torso and the, the highest parts of the legs are just going to have, have that purple. And this is just going on those lower sections. So I'm just being careful here using a small dry brush, making sure I don't get it on any bits that I don't want it to go on. relatively straightforward and ends up looking like that and that's the lower part of this miniature done basically I'm now going to um, switch my attention to the carapace and I'm using wolf grey which again is kind of like a, a bluey grey from army painter um, there are charts online that you can find that have sort of um, similar paints from different ranges so that you can find something of a similar match but this is going all over the, the top of the carapace. Um, it's quite a heavy dry brush. I'm trying to bring out lots of the detail and definition. Whilst avoiding the back where the, uh, the torso goes up into the carapace. Like so. And then we're switching to Ulthuan Grey, one of my favourite greys. And we're going to do another dry brush again on just the carapace. Again, it's going to be quite, quite a heavy dry brush. Going over all those raised details. Again, avoiding the, uh, avoiding the legs, avoiding the torso. It's very straightforward. Like I say, this process is entirely to get some paint on these miniatures to get them to the table painted as quickly as possible. And there they are, that's pretty much most of it done. Um, obviously they have a lens on the front of the uh, face, so we're going to do that next. So I'm going to start with Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to water it down ever so slightly and I'm going to neatly apply two coats of Evil Suns to the eye, to the lens, over the whole thing. And there's two coats to get quite a nice bright red spot. And then we're gonna try and make it look more like a lens. So we're gonna to switch to Wild Rider Red. And what we're gonna do with this is again, water it ever so slightly and we're going to paint half of the lens, um, like a crescent on one side. So you can pretty much go to about half of the, half of the whole lens with this orangey red and then I'm going to flash gets yellow and I'm going to paint just a 
a thin crescent line around the edge that I painted the orange on. So you get um, a sort of reflection on that one side. Like so. We're pretty much there now. Um, I'm switching to Mechanicus Standard Grey. You don't need to do this really, um, but I'm going to put a, a coat of Mechanicus Grey over the base. And that's just because I'm going to switch to um, the texture paint in a minute. And um, by putting down a layer of Mechanicus Grey before I switch to the texture paint, it just means that I don't have to be as precise with the texture paint because um, you don't want any patches of, of the base showing through the texture paint and the Mechanicus Standard Grey just, just prevents that from happening if you have to miss any little bits with the texture paint. So there's the Mechanicus Standard Grey on and now I'm going to switch to the Astro Granite and I'm going to apply that with the special um, texture tool that Games Workshop produces. And the reason that um, I'm using this rather than doing like special Blackstone Fortress bases is because um, I wanted a completely neutral base, something that looked like I could plonk these guys anywhere, because I might use these guys in Kill Team or Warhammer 40,000 or something. So um, I'm doing this with my Dungeons and Dragons miniatures. I'm making it so they're on neutral bases, so they kind of work anywhere, even though they are in the Blackstone Fortress. And now finally, what I'm doing here is I've got Lamian Medium and Blue Tone, and I'm going to put a very, very watered down wash over the carapace on the top of the miniature. Um, it's going to be like 95% Lamian Medium and then just a tiny, tiny amount of the Blue Tone. And what this is doing, it's just giving a very light blue tinge to the carapace on the top, but it's also making the dry brush a little bit less harsh, harsh, so where it's a little bit scratchy um, on the carapace. Um, it's just blending those edges a little bit um, and tying the colours together a little bit more. And then that actually finishes the miniature, other than the standard dry brushing the texture paint when it's dry with Ulthra and Grey and then applying Abaddon Black to the base. And then you end up with something that looks like this. What I have done to actually finish these guys off is I have... Um, giving them a, a matte varnish to protect the paint job and then I have used a gloss varnish just on the lenses just to give them a little reflective sheen and that finishes finishes them, them off and and there you go tabletop ready spindle drones in next to no time at all you can paint all four of these guys in just a couple of hours your your longest time is your wait time for each coat or each wash or dry brush to dry um, and there it is. And like I say, they're on neutral bases. I mean, there's some great tutorials online for painting Blackstone Fortress bases, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go down that route. Um, I wanted something that would actually draw the focus to the miniature and away from the base. So I've used this textured gray base. And that's it from me. I hope some people have found this interesting. Please leave your comments and queries below. I will do my best to respond to everybody. And hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.